You talking subliminal? I can't even see me. Sunny Digital. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Lord Kale, man. Hey, man, sorry I've been, been delayed, man. I've been getting a lot of stuff done, getting a lot of stuff done. I wrote some goals down that I'm trying to accomplish for the year, so I've been busy trying to slay them out. I'm about a little over halfway there, so pretty good, right? Congratulate your boy, slow clap. Yeah, so, man, and one of my goals this year, man, is to go to my first Eagles game since 2012, because that was the last time I went, right? Crazy, right? Because in college, you would think I would have went, but... Yeah, unfortunately not, you know, uh, you know, LeBron, like, you know, like broke ass college students and shit. So I was only able to watch them on TV. Then like, and then, um, I was, you know, watched it live from, uh, from, from this Texas live restaurant we have here in Arlington. That's ironically owned by the Cowboys too. So yeah. So I plan to go to my first Eagles game, bro. Um, I plan to go to the Atlanta game because I'm the South. So it's pretty close. Right. And, um, yeah, so I plan to go to one road game, include well, actually three, three this year, cause I can go to the one in my city, cause they come to us, and then I can go to the one in Atlanta, all right, and then I'm gonna try to go to one home game. So, like three football games is my a goal this year, if not two. So, yeah, man, big thing come 2019. But, but let's talk about something else, man. Let's talk about how delusional these Cowboy fans are, bro. Like these supporters of Jerry Jones, bro. Because um, apparently they just don't... Because apparently like they're, they are still disrespecting our roster. Which is crazy because I already went a video over this. A lot of my other Eagle content creators, superiors, went over this. You know, shout out Laura Brunson, Philly Five. You know what I'm saying? E-Rock, all them. You know what I'm saying? Like... We like we have went over this numerous times about how superior our roster is. Like starting with our quarterback, and don't y'all dare throw Dak Prescott's rushing stats in there because uh, if you look at it, Carson Wentz like beats out Dak by you know like in passing touchdowns, a major statistic for a quarterback in a passing league, but yet Carson Wentz has played eight fewer games. You know what I'm saying? In eight fewer games, Carson Wentz has more passing touchdowns, but yet the Cowboys fans still say that they have a superior quarterback and a wide receiving core. Well, if Carson Wentz has more passing touchdowns, then wouldn't that mean he has a a superior wide receiver catch uh, core that can catch the ball to get those touchdowns? I mean, I don't think Carson Wentz is just throwing touchdowns like, I don't think a lot of Carson Wentz's touchdowns come from, like, the goal line. And I'm going to do that research, too, and make another video on that. So, let's start with quarterback. I already blew out the water. Like, no one's talking about Dak Prescott except except Cowboy content creators. We got ESPN. We got FS1 analysts, like, wishing Carson Wentz to get hurt so the Cowboys, um, you know, can have a chance at win the NFC East because they know what a healthy Eagles team can do. 37-9. Like this isn't like this isn't some fairy tale that that we as Eagles fans just wake up from. This is a a, a grim reality for Cowboys fans. Uh so running back Jordan Howard. Jordan Howard, even though he's he's about to be in a running back by committee, uh he's gonna have a very good year. A very good year. Especially with like not having to take the load as much as he did in Chicago, uh, because of our second running back man that um, that that we took out of the draft, man. Oh man, and man, our whole running back room is about to have the league on notice. But my only sad thing is, I wish, I wish a window small would play this year, man. I'm like I feel like. I feel like they're going to hold my boy. I really don't want that to happen, but it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go with what works, even though when a small wood has been fairly consistent for us. You know, wide receiving core. Okay, the only thing we, like, really can talk about is Amari Cooper because he's the receiver that really kind of kicked our ass last year because we didn't have a plan for him. A lot of teams have a plan for him. So, watch this year. I'm betting you... Five hundred dollars on now. I'm saying it right now, YouTube. I'm betting five hundred dollars that Amari Cooper 
He doesn't make the Pro Bowl. And he doesn't get over 1,200 yards receiving this year. And you know what? I'll even go far because like some of y'all say that's a high expectation. I'll say 1,100 yards. I bet $500 right now like he's not going to get 1,100 yards this season. I bet you he's not. And I'm also betting that the Cowboys will not win the NFC East because we have a healthy Eagles squad. So, let, like, so I mean, like, let's keep going. Tight end room, we're obviously superior. Our second string is better than Dallas's first string. Dallas Goddard would do in anybody on that, like, in the Cowboys tight end locker room. Like, that's not even a debate. Um, offensive line. Huh. Y'all think Travis Frederick is going to be healthy off of a, off of a serious disease that, that kept him out all football season? Y'all really think he's going to be 100% from that? No. So y'all, no. And, and, and to my, and to my knowledge, wasn't Dak Prescott one of the most, uh, pressured and hit quarterbacks in the league last year? I think he was. So let's go with that. And then, uh, so what I basically went over the whole offense. Now let's talk about defense. Defensive line. Uh, I mean, kind of neck and neck, man. Cause y'all don't have a healthy DeMarcus Lawrence. Y'all lost two of y'all's um, like defensive linemen, like one of them retired and the other one is suspended because he couldn't stay off the weed. So it's not like we're not even gonna, even gonna go into that linebacker core. Y'all definitely beat us because I love, even though I hate the Cowboys, I love me some Wolf Hunter and I love me some Van Der Esch, bro. Like, god damn, bro. Like, they are some solid linebackers, man. Like, pretty good. But like, Dallas got them linebackers, but safety wise, we beat y'all mainly because. Our cornerbacks have more Pro Bowls. They're a championship caliber defense. Secondary, you know what I'm saying? So, that's not even a debate. I'm not even going to see why we're just going to debate that. I'm even going to pull up stats later in the next video to, like, to prove our secondary is better than that. So, yeah, man. I, I don't see what more y'all can say. Our coaching staff, he has a Super Bowl in his first three years. Like, Jason Garrett has what? Three playoffs wins in nine years. It's terrible. We, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, man. I don't see why these Cowboy fans are still delusional. Um, I can't wait till the season starts. I seriously can't wait to football. It was like 70, 71 days to football left. Yes, yeah, so let's make this happen, guys, man. I can't wait. Ooh, the look of disappointment on the Cowboys' faces when, when, uh, when we just sweep their ass this year. Can't wait. It's gonna be fun.